we're just scratching the surface of the material, literally. We did a lot of testing with this material, as you can guess. Yes. After all the incredible results our team has gotten from testing the ceramic materials that came out of the Mesa on Skinwalker Ranch, it was pretty validating to see the reactions of other renowned scientists. But we were just getting to the most fascinating part. We still aren't sure what it means. We ran some other experiments which were even more surprising. We dropped the ceramic over a magnet after freezing it in liquid nitrogen. And it did hover like the Meissner effect. That suggests this could be a superconductor. So you're going to freeze the sample? Yes. Yes. A couple weeks ago, while running additional lab tests on the ceramic material at Utah Valley University, we placed a sample in a dish of negative 320 degree Fahrenheit liquid nitrogen. Notice how it's still boiling off? Now, a normal ceramic would have cooled down almost immediately. But this stuff wouldn't cool down at all, and the liquid nitrogen kept boiling for several minutes. It's still boiling away, man. Look at that. We couldn't believe the heat capacity of this thing. Here we go. See it? Yes. You see it? It did it drift. Did drift. When it did finally cool down, we put a magnet under another dish and placed the ceramic right over the center of the magnet. It literally pushed itself away, meaning it repelled the magnetic field. This is called the Meissner effect and suggests that these ceramics could be superconductors. Superconductors are cutting edge materials that scientists are researching and developing because they have the ability to conduct energy without any resistance. Because of that and their ability to repel a normal magnetic field, some scientists believe that one day superconductors could be used to make vehicles and even spacecraft with advanced propulsion systems that don't require rocket fuel. Is it possible that the ceramics we found in the drilling spoils are superconductors and are covering whatever the objects are inside the mesa? Gentlemen, what would this mean for science? It can have very, very wide-reaching implications. It could possibly unlock new methods of propulsion and energy that we haven't understood yet. We get the majority of our energy from burning things. And something like this could really set us on a completely different course for the future, which I think is one of the things that's so exciting about it. Yeah. I can't say that much better than he did, but I can essentially say that this type of material would contribute advancements to photonic and electronic materials, technologies, and take us into new directions that we haven't imagined yet. Well, it's an amazing find. When we took the samples and had them analyzed, we did a scanning electron microscope elemental analysis, and based on the materials that is in it, it looks a lot like the ceramic tiles on the space shuttle. That's remarkable. In fact, whatever it is that's concealed within that mesa, all of our fragments that have been retrieved indicate that they may once have been part of a structure. So hopefully, we'll get to the bottom of it and we'll learn more about what's, what's in the mesa.